Hello there, and uh, my name is Andrew. I'm the tech support manager here at Northwood Technology. And today I'd like to show you how to configure the Dehua IP intercom systems. Uh, this will work with the KTPO ones as well, but today we'll be using the VTO 3221E-P. Um, and we will be configuring it to link in with two of the VTH2421 indoor monitors. Uh, one is the host and one is the extension, so that both of them should ring simultaneously uh, when we push the call button. Okay, so even though these units do have a setup wizard uh, through the indoor monitor, I generally find that it works a lot better when you configure it through a laptop uh, using the Digoa config tool. So that's the way we'll be demonstrating the setup today. And as you can see here, we can see the three devices uh, sitting on the network. Uh, the outdoor station, the VTO uh, 3221 is sitting in the center there. And then the two VTH indoor monitors to the left and to the right. Um, so what we will do is um, demonstrate how to configure it. Uh, down the left hand side, go to building config. And then you'll see the device is just showing up here as not associated. Uh, we'll get back to that in a moment. But the first thing we need to do is configure the global parameters. So we hit global parameters in the top right hand corner here. And the server type is going to be VTO, which is the one for the Villa Intercom. Under the server address, we're going to put in the IP address of the VTO itself, which is 192.168.25.190. Which is the IP address I gave when I initialized it. Uh, and then what you need to do is here under the VTO username and VTO, VTH username, uh, we need to put in the passwords. So put in whatever passwords you gave them when you initialized them in the first place. And then we hit OK on that. So we need to add a node. In this instance, uh, we hit add node. Now this looks like it could be get very complicated and it can, and these are designed to um, configure like apartment blocks, but that's not what we're dealing with today. All we need to do uh, for one outdoor VTO is you tick the, UTA, the U, unit VTO main, just tick that. And then under extension, we put in one. It presumes that there's already going to be a VTH in the system. So if we're putting in a second one as an extension, all we need to do is put in one extension there. So you, unit VTO main here and one extension. And we hit OK. As you can see here, it's added a node. Click on that and you'll see there's one VTO and two VTHs. So all we need to do is associate all this. So down the left hand side, we'll select our VTO. We select the VTO on the right hand side and hit associate and it'll link it via serial number. And we just do the exact same thing over here. The two VTHs. Associate, and then they'll show on the left hand side. You can see they're shown as associated. And on the right hand side, they'll be shown as, uh, as associated as well. And after that, just hit association list at the top, select the three devices, and, and then the right in the seat config. We click on that, and we should get three tick marks indicating that the unit has been configured. The system is rebooted, and there's one final configuration step that needs to be taken. So if we look back at the screen here, we go to search setting. I need to put in the password for the VTO, that's the outdoor station, in here. We hit OK. And then we go up to device config. When we go to device config, we'll go to the VTO here. And you'll see that it says call room here. Now, if you look at the top left hand corner of the uh, VTH, you'll see there's a call number. This one is 101 hash zero, which indicates that that is the main host for the outdoor station. And over here, you should see 101 hash one, indicating that that's the extension of the same room. So what we need to do is to make sure that the uh, room is matches here. Uh, we just go into the device config and we're call room here. We need to make sure that that says 101. Uh, on a fresh setup, you would see you might see 9901 instead, but uh, these have been configured previously, so I already have the 101 in here. But 
if you go in and find 9901 in here, change it to 101 and hit save to restart after configuration. Uh, once that's done and the system reboots again, uh, the system should be good to go at that point. So there's another couple of points I just want to bring up here. Uh, one is the time on the, on the VTHs is currently wrong. You cannot update the time on the VTHs themselves, on the indoor monitors. They synchronize the time with the outdoor station. So if the time is wrong here, the time is wrong there. So I'll just show you briefly how we update the time on the outdoor station, and that should synchronize with the indoor monitors uh, within the space of better monitors. So in the, the, the uh, config tool, we just hit link, the link to web option for the VTO. The indoor monitors have no web interface, but the outdoor station does. So what we do is we go here and we type in admin and type in our password. And that takes us to the web interface. We'll go into local settings. We'll go to system. And this instance, we're just going to sync with a PC like that and hit save. The time on the outdoor station is now correct. And that should synchronize with the outdoor stations relatively quickly. Uh, it took about 30 seconds, uh, but the time on the indoor monitors is now correct. Add it to our phones through the DMSS app. Uh, that's very straightforward to do. Uh, all you need to do is web browse into the outdoor station again and, and through the interface here, go to the network tab. And on the main basic tab, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the cloud service. Uh, you'll see the QR codes uh, and you'll see the option to enable the status. Uh, as long as your IP details are correct for your network, uh, the unit you know, should come online pretty much automatically in the space in about 30 seconds. Uh, what will happen is... It, uh, when the um, call button is pushed. Oh. Calling now. Please leave. Well, as you can see, I'm getting the VCO call. Here, another push notification at the top of the screen. I'm going really to answer that. The end of the call. Okay. Uh... If you have any questions or like no more details uh, about these units, uh, feel free to email me at andrew at northwoodtechnology.ie or give us a ring at the office um, at 018601880. I'd be happy to discuss uh, further with you. See you soon.